So basically the truth is, is that drugs in the 70s, in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and basically for a long time, drugs, cocaine, opium, methamphetamine are basically legal. <clears throat> it's really only drug dealers that actually get other drug dealers or, or other people in jail for drug offenses because realistically no one cares. No one ever cared. You know, the only laws that, that, that there are are basically the general laws of pretty much you shouldn't kill people and basically that is if you've killed enough people somebody will actually eventually care about it. But mostly it's self-defense, you know. You start shooting, somebody, somebody may and, probably, and possibly will start shooting back at you and you'll end up dead, especially if police are around. They generally, or, you know, police, you know, certain people pay police, like, 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 like shop owners might actually pay police to basically make sure, you know, there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes. So anyway, like I say, like, like I was in existence for a hundred trillion years, like a good solid 50 trillion years of basically cruising around the galaxy. Lucifer star. That's who I am. You can, you can look up my name on any of... Uh, uh, any of 120 or 400 planets on 800 other galaxies. And you'll find information on Lucifer Star. I was very well known and fairly epic. The creator of 12 races and 700,000 life forms. Basically. And then I retired. I also named America and quite a few other things. But mostly as I went along. Do, 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 do. Just an inventor. Just the most epic inventor and most caring and basically... The most fair and the most thorough of, 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 of life forms, basically, for the most part. When <clears throat> when other um, see a lot of, a lot of, a lot of life forms, a lot of people just arbitrarily arbitrarily go through space, just or they go through space to to basically get somewhere. You know, I became I was I was I was already somewhere from a hundred trillion years ago. Like I was already basically when I came into existence, there was no one else around. You know, and then as I was cruising along, you know, I created life forms and all kinds of other stuff. And I had my own little protection life forms, which aren't, weren't actually even human. And basically, you know, no one could really touch me um, for a very, very long time. You know, I was very well protected and people generally loved me because I was a great, great, wonderful person for the most part. Um, and I was very careful with who I killed and who I didn't kill. I, I cared for some reason. I don't know why. I just went by the data and the information and pretty much just waiting for people to, to do something and then basically reacting to that for the most part. Anyway, so basically Eddie Murphy and, and Ron Williams go and get into this great big huge war where, 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 where Eddie Murphy basically wants to kill Ron Williams. And Ron Williams, like Ron, like, like most likely, like, like people have always said that, that if Ron Williams ever dies, Eddie Murphy probably killed him or paid to have someone kill him. So anyway, because Eddie Murphy is a very, very jealous, horrible person. Everyone knew it. Like, like he, would, he, would, he, would, he would rip people apart, rip women apart, and basically be like... You know, he always came off as this big shot. He's, he's, he's tried to kill the leaders of China more than once. Probably did kill a few leaders of China. You know, he had his own shoe line, his own purse line, and mostly because he shot the person who was making the shoes and then... or whatever... You know, I mean, anyone can do it, and Eddie Murphy did it. He really didn't have a conscience. You know, as a young child, from, from the age of 12 or so, he started shooting and basically, you know, got together with some other shooters and pretty much, um, you know, sold drugs, or imported drugs. I mean, anyone could... The truth is that you can just take a plane from, from Guatemala and fly it right into to, to almost any field anywhere in America, and you're going to land and no one's going to be there to, to, to greet you. That's the fact of it. That's the truth of it. Everyone knew it. You know, unless, unless another drug dealer, unless another drug dealer finds out about you and cares, cares enough to send people there, in which case you're probably going to die because you're in the middle of, a, of an empty field and there's no one else around. And you die. So, well, no one grieves. But most likely the police probably aren't going to care. Unless the police are selling drugs in that area, which they possibly are. Um, most police departments actually do sell drugs. They take drugs from people who are using them too much. But mostly, for the most part, everyone has this little thing where if, if, if mostly they just care about tainted or bad drugs. No one likes poisonous drugs. No one agrees with it. That's one thing that, 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 that everyone, including the Hells Angels, could agree on. Is that bad drugs are a problem and why have them around? A lot of people, though, figure it as, a lot of people use drugs as, well, let's put some cyanide with it, and then we'll kill them, and then we'll just move in, man. 
Yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much what uh, Eddie Murphy did. And other people. Anyone can do it. Anyway, you go and you get some money and then you basically buy some drugs. And a lot of groups banded together and did it. You know, me, I'm different. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm the epic, epic, epic maker of battleships and other things. Builder. So anyway, though, but I'm just kicking it, and I'm the American president. Eddie Murphy wants to kill me. He does this skit about Lucifer. I hope he spelled my name wrong. I think he did. He put my name in lights, or someone put, put my name in lights, and I was like, he spelled my name wrong. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, anyway. Um, anyway, though, and they hand out drugs and money, and basically they look really awesome. It's biffy, but Eddie Murphy or somebody likes to basically give women and other people cyanide poisoning. They blame Eddie Murphy, I th I, and, they, and they, blame, they blame Robin Williams, I think. Or something like that. And make it look like Robin Williams. Robin Williams goes to jail for a while, I think, maybe. I'm not exactly sure. Someone goes to jail for it that didn't do it back in the 80s. And I think it might have been Robin Williams. But I think... I forget I forget how it worked out. Um, anyway, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Eddie Murphy w went to jail for it. Uh, but he actually did it. Like I said, Eddie Murphy was the one who actually did it. He had he has he has his little yellow sunglasses, and he likes to go out there. You know, it's funny if you see him on the on the, on the range. Like he'll have everything that you need, but he won't be able to shoot very well. <laughs> He's not a very good shot for some reason. I think eventually he does become a good shot. Um, Ron Williams though is just this comedian guy that was basically you know he was a figurehead. You know, and, and he even admitted admitted it. He said, "They give me cards, I read them." You know, and I seem, and people think I'm funny. I, like, Eddie, I mean, Robin Williams went up on stage and, and, and people called it humiliating or whatever. But he basically admitted to everything that was going on behind the scenes and everything else like that. And, and, um, and I think they got him really drunk or really high, so he looked really stupid or something like that. Poor Robin Williams. Like I say, Robin Williams, he wasn't a bad guy. He really wasn't. Uh, and I believe... He had Robin and his wife or something like that. I think his wife got killed. I'm not exactly sure. Like, like, like he went through a lot. He really did. He was really, 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 really a good guy, I think. It's just, you know, he was, he was in an environment that was really poisonous and horrible, if I remember right. I just remember there's Robin and Robin. And, like, his wife was, like, like the Robins were really cool. They, they, they were a really good family. And they really did a lot of things or something like that. And they really just got involved with a lot of bad bad people and a lot of bad, a bad environment. And people like Eddie Murphy basically were really, really, really horrible people. You know, there are some really horrible people in the world. I just remember the, the, the Robins. Uh, the, this one family that was pretty much good, but they got, they got involved in way too many bad things. And a lot of horrible events happened around them. So, anyway, Robin Williams... Um, was this guy and basically, you know, you know, the, I think, I think Eddie Murphy would make him take drugs before the performances or something like that, or I don't know, because Eddie Murphy was this huge addict, basically, uh, if I remember right. So anyway, um, you know, I mean, it was just a really bad environment.